Shalom, shalom, and welcome back to Kingdom Obedience Ministries. If you're not familiar, my name is Papaya Mitchell, and I have another prophetic word coming out of the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verses 19 from the Holy Spirit, and it reads, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven in Jesus' name. God is saying to someone today, I am giving you the keys to the kingdom, not just keys to the house, not just keys to the car, not just keys to the business, it's a part of that, but it's bigger than that. I am giving you keys. That word keys means in the definition is a small piece of shaped metal with incision cut to fit the word, the words of a particular lock. God is saying, I'm giving you a key. Not only I'm giving you a key, but I'm making you a key. Every key is to fit a particular lock. Every key that is made in the earthly realm, it fits a particular lock. If you try to open up your house and it's the wrong key, it's not going to open. And I don't know who you are, but you've been trying to open up the wrong door. The reason why you haven't been able to break through is because God is saying you're at the wrong door. You're at the wrong door. That's for somebody. The reason why they didn't receive you, the reason why they didn't like you is because you're at the wrong door. You have the right key. The issue is you're at the wrong door. God is saying, I have given you a key to go unlock a particular place. I have given you a key to enter into another dimension, to enter into another atmosphere, to unlock that door. Beloved, there is someone that needs to be unlocked in that atmosphere. And many of you, you're standing at a door. You're at a door that's not even signed to you. God is saying, I have given you the master key. You're not using your key. Use the key that I have released to you. Use the key that I have given you rights to. You're worrying about a door that's not even your door. That's why the door is not opening. I need for you to open up, unlock the right door I have given you. And you will know. Because, because if, that's, if that door is not opening for you, it's not your door, says the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will intentionally give you a key to unlock a certain region that you are in. God is saying, I need for you to use your key. Because many of you, you're so busy trying to fix this and fix that and, and, and talk a particular way and act a particular way. <sighs> to a door that God hasn't even given you. God has given you a special key. This key is special made just for you, but you have to get to the right door. I don't know what this spirit of confusion that has been over your life, but God is destroying it in the name of Jesus. He is destroying that, that spirit. Beloved, this door will open in this season because you will be at the right door in this season. God is giving you the keys to the kingdom, but make sure you're in the right position. Make sure you're, you're, you're in motion in this season. Many of you, you've been stuck because you're at the wrong door. Jesus, I need for someone to catch this. Every door is not going to unlock with the key that God has given you. The key that God has given you, you, it, you have spiritual rights. So if God is sending you to a particular place and that key doesn't receive you, it's not your door. But if it opens, if it unlocks over here, then it's your door. Jesus. Family, receive this prophetic word. Receive this prophetic word from the Father, from the throne, from the Most High. God. It's saying, I'm giving you up to half of the kingdom. I'm giving you the kingdom. But make sure you're at the right door in this season. Your blessings is with the door that I have signed your name on. Don't try to open up the last season's doors because it wasn't your door. You were at the wrong door this whole time. You were at the wrong door. Get in your rightful position and unlock your blessings in Jesus name. Family receive, receive, receive. Thank you for watching. Kisses, God loves you, I love you, shalom.